there we go. Hey, girl, you single? <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, another hot man! Oh, okay, this is my lucky day. <laughs> Jessica and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. I would like to give a huge thank you to Larian Studios for providing me a copy of this game so that I can play it for you guys on the channel. I am super excited to get into this game because this is actually my first Baldur's Gate game. I have not played the other two unfortunately but I have been looking for a game like this because the predecessors are from Bioware and if you guys know I'm a huge Bioware fan. I love Dragon Age, I love Mass Effect, and I love games that, you know, give choices, that are story rich, and of course have romance options. And Baldur's Gate seems to check all those options. So I'm very, very excited to bring this journey on the channel. And just, I have no expectation because I have no idea what this game's about. <laughs> I tried to look up some videos on Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 kind of get the feel of it. Um, I do know that this game takes place 100 years after Baldur's Gate 2. So if you're new to the series as well, we're okay because it's said on the website you don't need to know the other two it's just it will be fine <laughs> i am also dressed up as an elf i think you guys can like assume what kind of character i'm going to be making but you know in any fantasy kind of story the elves are always my favorite i think it's because of lord of the rings <laughs> that's why before we begin this let's wait if you guys would like to support the channel on patreon that is patreon.com slash a girl in a game you can get early access to my videos such as baldur's gate 3 and other stuff that i do not post to the public or if you prefer, I also have YouTube memberships, which you can join below in the link in the description or click the join button uh, below this video. And you can get the same perks as patrons, just all in YouTube instead. So I don't know what difficulty I should do. I know that you're allowed to change it at any point in the game. So I hope no one's mad. I just want to see the feel of the game first, because again, this is the first time that I'm playing Baldur's Gate and I don't want to screw this up. So. I'll try Explorer first, and if I find it too easy, I will switch it to Balance and I'll let you guys know too. Oh goodness, what is happening? Oh, I, I, I should put another disclaimer, I never played D&D before. I've always wanted to, but I never got a chance because nobody would play with me. So if any D&D experts out there want to help me out in the comments, that'd be great. <laughs> the heck is that thing? What? The cinematic looks so beautiful. Oh, don't tell me that you're gonna put that on me. I'm disturbed. Oh my god. Ew. What was that? Who are you? Oh, um, sure. We'll do tutorials because I don't know what's happening. All right, I'm going to move myself down here for a bit. Okay, so this is what I'm excited about. Um, I may take forever on this part. Please don't blame me for that. Anyway, um, I can- I'm allowed to pick an origin character? Is that what they're saying? Or you can make your own? I feel like I want to make my own just because, you know, it's me. Um, oh wow. Okay, so, uh, body types. You got some body types here. Damn, he's hot! I'm sorry, but the elves are just good looking. You know? Like, look at them. Hells. I just woke up down here. I guess that's a good good voice. Um, let me see if I can pick her face. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my god. They're so beautiful. Blush tone. Ooh. 
So yeah, you can change their, their skin tone. I want to go with this. I'm trying to make her look like me, but I feel like I never make them look like me. <laughs> oh, and then you can give her scarring too. Am I allowed to like customize like her face? Like, you know what I mean? Like the actual like nose and stuff. Is that allowed? I love giving my characters scars because like in real life I have scars. So like for me, I like doing that. Okay, I'm going to go with this one because it looks cool. And then you can have maturity. Oh my god, they got like so many options. Maturity slider. I'm gonna make her a little bit older than just like completely young. You can also give them freckles. I'll just do that. Oh my god. And then the pigmentation, dude. That's so cool that that's an option. Genitals. Wait. Oh, wow. Yeah, they actually do show it. I can't show it for YouTube, but wow. You can customize... <laughs> you can actually customize the genitals. That's... That's neat. Wow. Interesting. I don't know if I want to put tattoos on her. I would like to put, put tattoos on her anywhere else. Oh, but this looks kind of cool, though. Dude, this is amazing. I'm sorry, but this looks really nice. I kind of want to keep this. That looks nice. Piercing? We can have piercings too? Oh my goodness! Oh, I love it! Oh my god! Dark moons? What? These are so pretty! Sorry, I'm just gonna look at all of them because like, what the heck? Oh, I kind of like that one. Wait, go back. I, I, oh god, hang on, wait, the, this one, that's so pretty, I'm wearing those. <laughs> okay, her eyes, two different eye colors, oh neat, you can actually have this too? Elf green, um, I'm gonna do elf brown, if that's okay. Maybe I'm not giving her a cool color, but you know, I got brown eyes, so... Oh my god, and then we get makeup. I don't know what kind of makeup style I should give her though. Ooh, I kind of like that. Give it like a dark, dark brownish. Maybe a. Hmm. I'll go with this one. I kind of like that one. Like that. And then the lip tint. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm like so like impressed like with the customizations because I know it can be very hard when you play these kinds of games and the customization is like difficult, especially with like the hair, but the hair doesn't look so bad. I actually really like it. Oh, look at the hair. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. I wanted to see what kind of hair we got. Whoa, can you get a buzz cut? Those are pretty. Oh, that's so cute. What? That's so adorable. I don't know which one I should go for. If I'm being honest. Where the hair at? Hello? She's gone. This one is pretty. I kind of like this one. There's like so many options. No way. The space buns. <laughs> this is adorable. Look at all of them. Oh my god. I love it. I, I kind of like the other one that I picked, though. I think that's the one I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to pick this one. I just really like it. I can't get it any darker than this. Is this not allowed? I'm just going to put my name, because why not? Okay. Do I get to pick, like, my... what I want to be? You need a guardian. Choose one. Oh, what the frick? Hang on. Oh, I'm dumb! It was in this menu. Okay, my bad. <laughs> okay, so... Every time I play um, RPGs, I always pick an elf. That's just me though, because I love elves a lot. It's my love for Lord of the Rings. I love Arwen and um, just her whole like, you know, how how amazing she was in 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 that story. So she she was always my favorite. This is just why I loved elves. And then growing up, I always just like was biased against elves. That's just me though. But we can see there's different um races we can pick which i think is neat like look at this 
We could be a half elf. Whoa, Dragonborn looks so cool. Half orc, gnome. So elf, sub race. Oh, you can have a sub What? I can pick what kind of elf I'm gonna be. Okay, so we have high elf and wood elf. High elves, heir of mystical fairwind. High elves value magic in all forms. And even those who do not study spellcraft can manipulate the weave. Wood elves. These elves spend their recluse lives in the Faru forest. Decades of training in archery and camouflage and enhanced by outerworldly stuff, which is beautiful. But I'm gonna be in a high elf because I like magic. <laughs> what is a, a cantrip? So you make change your cantrip by selecting one another wizard spells. Cantrips don't use spell slots, so it can be selected. Oh, wait, hang on, hello. Acid splash, bone chill, fire bolt, poison spray. Ooh, so we got like different kinds of magic that I can. I think I'm gonna keep fire for now because I kind of want that. I kind of want to keep that. Class. Obviously, different classes you can be like barbarian. We got a bard, which, you know, if if I wasn't for like me being wanting to be a mage and stuff, I'd probably pick a bard if I'm being real. Cleric. Oh, that's so cool. I love that there's an animation in the menu. We got a druid, which you can shape shift into animals, right? Yeah, that looks neat. We got a fighter. A monk. This is the new class that they added that wasn't in the early access. That's what I remember. Also a paladin. Cute. We got a ranger. I love it. We got a rogue. Sorcerer. Okay, this is where I'm confused because like, I don't know if it should be sorcerer or wizard. Then we also got warlock. And a wizard. So should I be a wizard or a sorcerer? Like, which one do I be? Okay, sorcerers are natural spellcasters drawing on inherent magic from a gift or bloodline. Oh, so I can have it as a storyline like that. While wizards are masters of arcane by specializing in individual schools of magic, combining ancient spells and modern research. Okay, for the sake of the kind of character that I want to play, I'm going to make her a sorcerer. She may have less stuff, but I kind of like the idea that she inherited this magic from her family and stuff. So I want to do it that way. But that, there's like so, this is so overwhelming. But oh my god, this is a lot that like I don't know which like makes sense for my character, you know what I mean? So like I'm trying my best. Okay, let me let me see what I can get. Charm a person. Charm a humanite to prevent it from attacking you. Ooh, I do like playing those kind of characters too, where you can like talk your way out of stuff. So I kind of want to do that, not gonna lie. Subclass. Okay, these are subclasses. We got wild magic. Draconic bloodline and storm sorcery. Wild magic, your powers come from ancient forces and chaos. Your powers come from ancient forces of chaos. They churn within you, waiting to burst free at any time. Tides of chaos and wild magic. Ooh. Okay, what's another one? The draconic bloodline. Your veins carry draconic magic and result in powerful dragon ancestors. Ooh, that's cool. Kind of like that too. You got dragon resilience and then storm sorcery. Whether crackling the energy of ancient deludes or pierced by the gales of hurricanes, your lineage is strained tapestry scrawled by a, a Temptist. I, I, I kind of want to do this. Dra Draconic Bloodline? I kind of want to do it because it sounds really interesting. Dragon Ancestor? Whoa! Okay, we're going to do the gold one. Because I get Disguise Self. I kind of want that. <laughs> background? Oh, here we go. This is the background of my character. Acolyte, you spent your lifespan in service of a temple, learning sacred rites. That's not really me. You get more religion aspect, but I don't think that's really me. Charlatan, you're an expert in manipulation. Prone to exaggeration, more than happy to profit from it. Maybe, because like I said, I kind of like charming my way out of stuff. Criminal, I don't really see my character as a criminal, so I don't think so. We get entertainer. Maybe. Folk hero, you're a champion of the common people. Guild artisan, uh, you earned your membership in, in Amiko Guild, offering- Okay, so no, not that. Noble, maybe a noble, not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind playing a noble. You were raised in a family among the social elite, accustomed to power and privilege, accumulating renowned power and loyalty with raised status. Outlander, grew up in the wilds, maybe. We got a sage, curious and well-read, uh, soldier, and then urchin. 
where you're you're poor and had a really bad upbringing okay so i'm really torn between noble and charlatan i think <laughs> is this boring but i kind of want to be a, a noble just because i i really want to and it kind of makes sense for her being you know part having a draconic bloodline too so i want to do that and she also has a skill of history and persuasion so low key it kind of has what i'm looking for <laughs> Okay, I don't know what to pick. I'm really overwhelmed, so I'm just gonna use the recommended. I hope no one minds. Um, this might be a mistake, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Look at her face. She's got the dragonborn scales. That's actually really cool. Yep, we're gonna keep it. I don't care. I, I really like it. Now I kind of want to change her hair because I want it to match her, like, thing she's got going on here. Okay, hang on. <laughs> See what I mean? I can't make up my mind, and then I feel like I need to change it. All right, we're going with this. <laughs> oh, I can change her scales. Oh, that's neat. It's part of her. Get. She looks really cool. I'm a. I'm a keep it on. I don't care. I think she looks really pretty. So we're gonna do with this. All right. You need a guardian. Choose one. What does this mean? Who is this? All right. I'm gonna try to make her, them the opposite of me. I guess. I'm gonna go draw. Why not? They kind of look hot, too. They're the leader of the elven pantheon. Sure. I'm gonna- Oh my god, this is dangerous. Should I make them a dude? Like, a really hot dude? Oh no. I'm in trouble if I do that. I still don't know what the guardian means, but we're going for it. A loath sworn drow, raised in the loath- uh, loath cult in the city of Mizzou- Berry- Berizen. These drow embody the virtue of a cor uh, corrupt and merciless goddess. Both makes her followers with bright eyes. Those under dark will learn to fear them on sight. Can be found seeking allies from- You know what? Let's go with the dark one. I kind of like it. Let's let's go with the total opposite. Remarkable. Truly. Am I going to make him hot? Oh, man. I don't- your instincts. Don't Remarkable. Good luck. Yeah, we're going to make him hot. I'm sorry. Dude, he looks like Henry Cavill. I'm le I'm leaving this face. I'm leaving this face. He he's he looking like Henry Cavill right now, and that's very attractive to me. <laughs> oh man, this may be like a like a horrible idea, but I don't know what you're supposed to do with your guardian. But he, I'm gonna make him look hot. Why not? Can I give him like some makeup? Look, some men look good in makeup. There, there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Oh dear God. Yeah, we're gonna have to make him, like, really hot. This might be a mistake. <laughs> but he looks so good. Wait, he kind of looks good with this, not gonna lie. Like, elves- elves can really pull off any style. I'm just saying. Like, it doesn't matter what you're going for. They can look really good in, like, any style, low-key. Yeah, I guess this is my guardian, just this hot elf man. <laughs> Venture forth. I don't know if I made a mistake, but hey. So what happens now? What was that about? a ship? Oh, absolutely not. He just evaporated all of them. I wonder what's the reason for for them doing that? To bring back the others? Oh, uh, okay.
Okay, nice save from the dragon. Can I get a dragon? Because technically I have it in my blood letter. <laughs> like that. This cutscene is so beautiful. I have to say that. she saved? I mean, I imagine so. They blew up the whole thing. Does that include me? Because I'm included in this, right? There's me. Dude, she looks so pretty. I'm sorry. <laughs> she looks so beautiful. I love it. Oh god. Okay. How do I move? Oh, my head. Ah, it's a classic! Oh my god, I kind of like it though. Uh, press J with my journal, right? Okay, find a way out. Yeah, that'd be great. Guys, forgive me, I'm, I'm not really, you know, a PC player, so like I'm just gonna get used to it. If it, if it, it bothers me a lot, I'm gonna hook up the controller, because they did say that uh, there's controller support for this game. Let's see what this does. Can we get out? That's disgusting. We just have to follow them. Okay. Um, this is to rotate. I oh, got you. Oh no. Who's there? I'm gonna take your gold. You you don't need it anymore. Who the heck is talking right now? Brain jar. There's. I just. I didn't mean to sit on the chair. I was just curious. Who's talking? Who the hell is this? Something's on my mind. Uh, I don't think they're okay. If I had to guess. Ew, they're like- Ew, ew! The, I didn't realize- yes. You can save out. us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Oh, I love the narrator's Please. voice. Before they return! They return. Oh my god, who am I talking to? The man of brain. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion oh. of the mind flayers who abducted you. I don't know if I should keep you in there. I think you're past the point of- tell me what to do? 
I don't know about that. I feel like I should uh, destroy the brain. But they seem afraid. I'm not really sure why. I'm gonna destroy the brain. Oh god, I didn't think she was gonna do that! Sorry, but I'm not taking a chance just in case you like attack me or something. We gotta get the F out of here. I don't like this. <laughs> So I'm going to be making some choices based on what I feel. This is how I'm going to play this playthrough. I'm not going to try to be an ass or not going to try to be good. Uh, through my other playthroughs of like other games that are similar like this, I try to base it on the fact like what I think I feel is right in the situation. So I don't know if that was right, but for me, I feel like I couldn't trust that little thing. That's just me though. Whoa. Oh my God. Wait, so where do I go here? Hey, it's that lady. Abomination. This is your end. Girl, what? Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. My head. What is this? Squaw. You are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Girl, I'll take all the help I can get. I would like to get out of here too. What do you suggest? First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find Listen, I, there's no point in asking George. where we're at because I don't even know. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Yeah, sure, girl. I'll follow you. Ew. Oh, God. Are we fighting now? These things look... Oh, gosh. Okay, get ready to fight. Combat happens in rounds. So this is a turn-based game, which I'm fine. I grew up on, like, OG Final Fantasy. Turn-based don't bother me, but I know this is going to be a little bit different because it's going off of, like, D&D rules, and I've never played D&D, so... Uh, this is my first time. The game pauses around you during combat, so you have time to plan your actions. That, that kind of does help. During your turn, you can make a move and take an action. Okay, so, like, let's, like, 100% hit this thing. <laughs> Okay, ending your turn when you finished. Not enough movements. Does it say like how many movements I have? I don't know where should I go. Should I just like try to move closer? Cause like I kind of don't want to. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay, so reactions. Uh, I'm blocking the tutorial thing and I'm very sorry, but obviously I'm gonna have a character reaction cause they're attacking me. Imp use main hand on me. Um, they rolled a 17. Shield. Did that help? Oh, they miss. All right. This is your end. Okay, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. You know. <laughs> Survival is all that matters. I could have done a magic trick there, like you know. They suck, though. They actually suck. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna take some time for me to get used to it. Thank you, I'm trying. Ah, so I can, I can take control of the, the, the characters too, the companions? What the F is this thing? Restoration? Better not be cursed. Okay, so that healed me. Cool, alright. Dead thrall. Listen, I'm gonna take all this crap for now because, like, I might be able to sell it, right? <laughs> Ooh, and then I can open my inventory. Nice, 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 nice. How do we get the F out of here? We climb up here? Okay. That's good. Don't know which way is the exit. Ooh, I think it's this way. Let's go this way. Ew, dude. Oh, there's more people in here. Istic, back. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Man isn't dead, but he's tired. 
totally unresponsive. Oh no. What about this one? Sacrifice cultist. Life flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. I don't know if I'll be able to save them. Mind flare pod? Who's in here? You! Get me out of this damn thing! She's she's aware! We can let no her out! Time for stragglers. No no no, we gotta help! Look at that ladder might open the lid. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Right now? Yeah, because we need help. Sorcerer Arcane, there's magic at work here. Determine what kind. You know what? We're gonna try it. Skill check. Some dialogue options require a skill check and dice roll that meets or exceeds a target number. Your character's skill adds to a bonus on this roll. Ooh, okay. Let's see what I get. I got a nine. That's good, right? I got it. Okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Success, nice. Warding ruins. You feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Okay, so that's how Are we're gonna open it. We need to go. Girl, I get it, but we have to help. This thing is magically linked to that console. Let me see what I can do. Hurry, please. Don't worry, I'll help you. I'll help you. The console appears dormant. Sorcerer, inscribe the device with the glyphs you sense from the pod, a pod's warning runes. Might as well, because I am a sorcerer. <laughs> the console hums to life. Arcane, take a closer look at the powered up console. All right, here we go again. You need to get a 10. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like the dice rolling thing. This is so immersive. So far, I'm really enjoying this. A pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Yes, open it. We gotta help her. Place your hand on the console. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades. And another sensation washes over you. Connection. Girl, I hope this is worth Authority. it, because, like, if we get another party member, I might as well. Uh, will the pod open? 19. <laughs> Can you imagine if I got a 1? That'd be really sad. <laughs> you feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. And you do it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. There we go. Hey, girl, you single? <laughs> I don't know who you could romance in this game, but I'm just gonna assume everybody. Are you okay? I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gith with you. Oh, because of her? You keep dangerous company. Girl, don't be racist now. <laughs> don't be like that. Dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting. Listen, we can argue about this later. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Ooh, wait, can I ask? Did you feel what I felt before wearing each other's heads? I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. But that'll have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? Yes, girl, you're coming with us. I I, I need you to come with us. Shadowheart. One moment. Shadowheart. Um, what's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, there's nothing else I can look at, right? There's also a door over here. Which door is it? Oh, shoot! Okay, I'm not even gonna ask. What the hell is going on here? Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Is she, she's not alive, is she? Girl, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to take your stuff. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. Hang on, before I unlock this one, can I-
Can I check the other room? Because, like, I'm s I'm really scared I'm gonna, like, miss something. So, like, I don't want to do that, just in case. What's in here? Hello? We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? Wait, I- is this the- I'll my own judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I got you, got you. Okay, before we go, before we go, before we go. Can we help her? I don't know if this is, like, stupid, but I do want to try to see if we can help. Okay, I might regret this, but I'm just way too curious. I need to push this button. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Change? Oh no! Oh, maybe we should have left it alone. Oh! Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be. That's why they they're like kidnapping everybody. Whoa! That's so creepy. Wait, can I look that at it? Not be our fate. The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. So they're mind flares. Okay, got you. Wow. Okay, so that's what the pods are for. That explains a lot. We need to get out of here then. Whoa. Oh my God. Ew! Is it really that easy for them to just kill everybody like this? Bro, connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Do it. We will deal with the geek after we escape. Um. Okay. Wait, what am I doing? Got to write it. <laughs> I'm already getting game over. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's funny. I just need to figure out a way to do this properly. That's all. I'm I'm still getting used to it. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> okay, I think I think what I should have done is just like get to the transponder. I didn't really need to fight nobody. Like screw screw this. I, I need to get there faster. Don't waste a step. Okay. Yeah, we, there are a lot to attack us, which is not a good thing, and it's not what I wanted. Um. Let him handle that shit. Oh my god, am I gonna die here? Okay, taking disengage lets you leave an enemy melee range without taking opportunity. Okay, hang on. I just need to get one of these characters over here, right? Damn. Talk to me. Nothing important is ever easy. Have to keep going. Yo, yo, the mind flare guy is like, oh no. Oh my goodness. I'm trying. I'm I'm legitimately trying. I I am. Girl, don't die. Oh my god, this is so like Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Cuz Shadow Hearts all the way in the back. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Get to the transponder, please! 
the helm's a yes! responder. You've made it in time. We need to leave. We gotta go. Are we not gonna make it? Oh, thank God. This is so intense. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody or something saved me. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Ew. Check yourself for injuries. Let's Other do that. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it's kinda true. for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Where- am I alone again? Oh no, find a cure, okay. Well- I mean, so far I don't really see anything that I can pick up, so we'll just go over here. No traps, please. Sorry, I have to take your money. I'm broke right now. Oh, Shadow Heart! What is that? No, I'm gonna- I don't want to touch her artifact, because, like, I don't know what it is, and I don't want to be, like, making her mad. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Um, I was hoping you might know that. Doesn't matter, we made it. Actually, I don't know. True. Whatever. <laughs> Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. Um, what happened to our, our gith friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Well, we don't know that. We should look for her. She might be injured or worse. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of us. Girl, we're better first in numbers. First. We need supplies, I'm just saying. Shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We? You want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Okay, I'm glad at least she's like think agreeing company. with that. Yeah, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been yeah. all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. 
Lead the way. Oh, there is an approval system. My camera is probably covering it, but it's a shadow heart approves. So I imagine it's just to gain like their friendship and possibly their romance afterwards too, right? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> We're gonna need everything we can get, right? I can't believe she ran off. Did she really run off like that? I don't think she did. There's no way. Yeah, I'm just gonna take what I can get for now. Um, until we get somewhere where we can actually like uh, sell things and stuff. Perfume letter. I love you there, I said it, and if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again, and you keep saying it until we're old and gray, so let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, and they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do with the without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Oh no, and he's dead! Oh no! Can I delete this? Oh no, maybe I have to give it to somebody who needs it, right? Whoever Anna is. Oh god, there's more over here. Uh oh, yeah, I figured there's gonna be a battle. Great. Better stay back. One strike could be useful. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, shit. Let's finish this. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Open rest menu. Wait, there's a rest menu? Camp and resting menu? Oh! You can do short rest. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we might need to do that though. What the hell is this? Ancient he sigil circle. Oh. Can't get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. Okay, wait. Hang on. We got we got a lock pick. Come on, open up. Ooh. Okay. Difficulty twenty. I'm probably not gonna get it, but we'll try. Yeah, I I thought that that would happen. <laughs> Nope, it failed. All right, so we gotta go a different way. Clearly this would've been different if I was like a rogue or something. So I guess we have to take the long way. Hey, there's a guy there. Hold on. Wait, is there anybody else in here? I don't wanna miss anything. Oh, seems like a good moment to talk. Oh, there is. Hang on, before I talk to that other person down there, there's a mind flare here. A mind flare. Approached the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion. Is compassion. it because of the. Yeah, it's the. Given to the emotion, this isn't right, several way. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped. Made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. Ew. And the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. I'm gonna take the advantage. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever. Leave it to die slow. No, we're just gonna kill it now. Sorry, but I have to. Okay, before I venture further, can we talk to the person that's standing over here? You there? Come here. I Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. Brain things? There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Wait, who the hell are you? Kill it yourself. You look capable. <laughs> Wait, let me say that right now. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. <gasps> oh! Ooh, 
Uh, quickly roll away. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Get off me, hot man. Why I he kind of hot? <laughs> Strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? I didn't do anything to you. Uh, I'm gonna say this. You, they snatched me up too. I'm not an idiot. I saw. So ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. <laughs> What was that? What's going on? Um, it's the mind flayer's worm. It connected us. Let's, let's just tell the him. worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. Dude, he's so I hot. I think I might pick him as a Roman. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Why does his voice sound so familiar? I feel like I've heard his voice before. Okay, I might have done the same, I'll be honest, because you're confused, you don't know where you are. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Tell him your name and your story. I'm just gonna in introduce myself. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. Yeah, clearly, I've never seen you before. So, do you know anything about these worms? You know as much as I do. I suppose it's not exactly common knowledge. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? We can start traveling together. Better odds, I'd say. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. Yeah, just join us. We need and more party you members. Seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Okay, Asterian. Asterian kind of sexy ass elf man. <laughs> okay, we got Asterian in the party now. I'm not complaining. So he was also there. What the hell There's is that over there? over there? Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Touch the sigil. Uh. Hello? A hand? Anyone? <laughs> okay. Can I can I grab your hand? Um let me do a sorcerer thing, because that is my thing. And we'll do it. We'll do it. doing is working wonders now a quick little pull should do the trick oh my god another hot man oh okay this is my lucky day <laughs> hello other hot man oh. hello hi gale of water deep Apologies. <laughs> Usually better at this. Wait, what if I romance this guy? Damn it! I don't know who to pick. Um, no need to apologize. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Dude, he's so sexy. I you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Norse Lloyd as well. Um, you don't trust this man? Draw your weapon? No. Um. How Yes, I was. And I can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular. Region. So wait, everybody we find is like involved in this? Um, couldn't have phrased it any more repellent myself. Go on. The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? Yes, we're aware of that. Ceramorphosis, and let me assure you. It is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? No, I'm a sorcerer. Surgeon. 
uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't He's so charming. Once, I really like him. <laughs> I possess many gifts, but tadpole extraction is not one of them. I can't cure our parasites. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. Right. We're most certainly going to need a healer. And soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once No, more, you're coming with this. I, I feel together. that's the best option. Better in numbers. Yes, you're welcome. Most excellent. <laughs> parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. <laughs> oh. But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. You're welcome. An act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. He's so cute. Okay, we got a new one. We got Gail with us. Nice. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. What is up here? Dude, there's like so many areas we could go to. I'm I I'm overwhelmed. Cuz I don't know which other way we can go. Chapel entrance. So this is the, the place I was trying to get into, but it wouldn't let me in. Oh. What the hell? You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. I don't really care. Ooh, persuasion. Uh, I wonder if I should say this. That ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. I need 20? Oh, no, I need 10. Okay, I can do it. Oh, what? I got 10 exactly. Does that count? Yeah, okay. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No I wonder if I should move my killed. camera because you guys Second can't see, like, the, the and all. what the characters approve and disapprove of. No. Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. Why do you give a look? Everything all right out there? Uh, oh no. Should I do, like... Let me try to do this deception. I don't know if that will, like, help. Gimbal Lock triggered some traps. He needs help now. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I, I don't know. I'm gonna try. My... Oh, I got it. Let's see if that works. Oh, I was hoping it wasn't safe out there. Get inside and I'll rustle up some bandages. Oh, my God. Asterion is inspired. What does that mean? Oh, I didn't even see this. So she's an acolyte. Service of a temple. He's a charlatan. That kind of explains it. I could tell by the sound of his voice. He he can manipulate people. And Gale is a sage. Which makes sense with his magic and stuff. Who the hell? You're dead! Oh! Um. Okay, hi! Sorry, sir. But you're gonna have to take it. We'll just attack him for now. <gasps> oh! My faith will protect me. Oh, no way. What? <laughs> Sorry. What is in here? Okay, we got a key. Leather armor. We might have to put that on somebody. And the sword. I don't know. We're gonna decide later. Like I said, I'm just trying Anything to search leaves? around. Okay, let's see what we can find in here. Ooh. Stuff we can sell. Right? We can take the food? Oh, no. Okay, guys. I'm gonna end it here. I know it's abrupt, but I feel like I just need to get used to it. This is a lot. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just for me as like a new player of Baldur's Gate, somebody who's never played D&D before, I've, I really need to learn like what to do. So if anybody in the comments has any tips for me, please let me know. I do plan on playing this game fully. I know it's going to be long, but I do plan on doing live streams as well to kind of like help me uh, level up my characters. And then also, you know, so we can explore different places. I just I just want everyone to know that, that I do plan to play the main storyline as like recorded videos because I am still very interested in like what's going to happen. All the characters so far we've met are very interesting. I kind of like Gale the most 
Like, I know the companions you meet, they're, like, romanceable, right? So, right now, he's, like, my number one candidate, which is funny because I figured it would be an elf, and it's not, and it's him. So, like, we'll see. So far, like, everybody, but I might change. I might end up hating some characters. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making the right choices either, but it's been fun so far, like, figuring things out, and I'm really, really impressed with, like, how everything looks and how interactive everything is. It's surprising to me because I didn't think it would be that interactive, you know? <laughs> Thank you once again to Larian Studios for providing me a copy of this game. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm sorry that's a little bit slow. I'm still at the beginning and it's not like, you know, that exciting just yet, but I'm trying, all right? <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. Maybe I'll just wear like my elf ears and my flowers on my head for the entire playthrough. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like liking dressing up like an elf. It's kind of fun. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!